hello everyone welcome back to the doing it easy channel uh, this is going to be a new lesson series on ye2 as promised now i'm going to cover everything that i have covered in the version 1 the first playlist uh, in ye, ye version 2 as well so let's begin uh, first of all you should know that we will download and install ye2 so there are different two ways of actually installing E2 in your local host. First way is the composer and the second way is you download it from the archive files and extract and install. I'm not okay. I'm not going to use composer. I'm going to use an archive file and I'm going to download it and install it via that way. Okay, let's so let's download this. Actually, I have downloaded this beforehand, so let me cancel this and let's go to the downloads folder and and find our basic app file let's go to our local host which is our web root html and play, copy and paste it okay i have already done that as well and i have extracted the files as well so when you extract the extract this tar file you will get a basic uh, folder name bin basic folder. So uh, let's check this out on the browser and see what happens. So local host and basic. Okay, now mm, this is a little bit different from B version one. We have to go to the web root, the web directory, for to access the file. So it's going to be local host, basic, and web. Oh yeah now you get this error okay i expected this error this is a cookie cookie validation error uh, which which says that you need a token to pass a token so let's pass a token for that uh, let's go to the basic folder and the config folder and open the web.php file okay so here you go they have said insert secret key in the following in the following if it is empty you will get the error that we got right here so let's pass a cookie validation I'm doing it easy is my validation key of course you say encrypted word I mean there are plenty of sites you can get an encrypted key and save this and let's check it out again okay congratulations you have successfully created a ye powered application okay let's check Oh, what we have over here so here's the company logo home about contact and login these are the four four menu items that we got from the version 1 application as well so there are uh, as you can see all of the styling has been done by bootstrap so these are bootstrap buttons these are bootstrap navigation bar and these are columns that are from bootstrap okay so styling has been done by bootstrap so there, let's go to the about.php file, okay, contact, okay, the contact form has changed a little, hasn't it, okay, and the login, okay, now, he has, there's something over here as well, I, I should show it to you, okay, this is the e debugger, actually, this is very important when it comes to debugging, I mean, they have made it so much more easier, okay, this comes from the action index, so uh, I'll explain about actions and views again uh, if you want to know more about action and views it's kind of the same thing in the version 1 and the uh, version 2 if you can watch my version 1 playlist as well but nevertheless I will cover that in this lesson series as well okay I think uh, I'll stop right here in the next lesson I will create our own action our own view file and get it to see that as well okay so see you next time uh, stay tuned and subscribe for doing this channel have fun bye